As you know, I'm kind to on the tech program. Today, I'm going to be telling you about how to manage date and time in Spring Boot and Angular, basically how to convert between the time and date format. For instance, if you look at this application, it looks very simple, but when it comes to working with the date and time, it seems to take about half of the time of building this application because you can see that right here, I'm filtering by date. I'm also uh, creating a new appointment, you can see by date and also i'm selecting the current date as you can see uh today's date as you can see right here so i'm going to refresh this page let me just i'll tell you about working with date and time now if you want this application how to build it is found here on my website simply go to recent posts or simply go to the home page so you go to this website simply go to the home page and you can simply scroll down and find uh, this how to build this application step by step. But today, let's just talk about date and time. Today, I'm going to I'm going to be focusing on dates, how to work with dates, how to pass date between Angular application and Spring application. And I'm going to tell you about date time, uh, date uh, picker as well. And then in an, another lesson, I'm going to be talking about time. So I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. Hit on the subscribe button so that when I make an update, you don't miss it. So today I'm not going to be doing a demo. I'm going to be uh, explaining and showing you the codes and also showing you the demo of how it works. So I'm, going to, I'm not going to be doing a step-by-step -step because I already did a step-by-step -step before now. So let's start from the basics. You are building an API. You also build a UI. Remember, API returns data in JSON. For instance, the API controlling this application, I built it in Spring Boot. So if I go to HTTP localhost, uh, port 8080 appointment, you can see this the API. Now I want you to take note of the date time format here. You can see the date time format in JSON. And this is what comes to Angular, okay? Now, if you are building an API, the first rule of thumb, because this is API, is to use local date time in your API. Use local date time. So if I go to my uh, class here, uh, sorry, uh, I am using this. So you can see this local date time. Use local date time because local date time can, can be split into dates and time separately. It can also be split into only time can also be used only date by separating the two. So it's better to use local date time if you are building an API in Spring Boot. So that's the first uh, rule of thumb. So if I go back to the page here, you can see that uh, we have uh, the first rule of thumb, as I mentioned here, always use uh, local date time, as I mentioned here. Now, when it comes to Angular, we talk about date time picker in Angular. Now, to be able to use date time picker in Angular, you need to you install a module called uh, this ng. Let me just shift it up here. You need a module called ng bootstrap. Okay. So this ng bootstrap, you need to add it to your application using this code here. Uh, or the step by step is already in a different place. So I'm just going to be explaining to you. So for you to use date time picker in Angular, you need to use ng bootstrap. Uh, module you need to uh, you need to install this ng bootstrap library so now when we come to if i click on new new appointment you can see that we have a date time picker here this date time picker uh, represents an ngb ngb date picker that's the name now for you to get an ngb date picker let me just show you the code now we are talking about Angular now. So let me just uh, minimize this one. Let me just minimize this one. So in Angular, you want to uh, get a date. You need to define uh, what date is coming from the NGB picker. But let me show you the HTML markup. So this is the HTML markup for NGB date picker. The name is appointment time. NG model equal to appoint appointment time binds this date picker to a variable in the model okay take note so this is a two-way binding that we are doing here you are using name you also use ngb model ng model in case of reactive forms now we are talking about reactive forms because we are also going to submit this form and then we also have ngb date picker defines this as an ngb date picker 
So this allows you to also enter manually a date in the date object or also select a date based on a different and a particular format. Now the format you define in the placeholder defines the format that the text box, because it's actually a text box, the text box or control is going to accept. Okay. So let's go back to the page. So this is what I explained right here. Okay. So I'm going to proceed. Now, if someone selects a date, how do you get this selected date? Now, listen to what I explained here. If a user selects a date in the date picker, for instance, a user comes here and selects a date, how do you retrieve this date in your component? So, if we go to the, um, to the appointment component, now we have appointment time NGB date. The date picker control in the form returns an NGB date. An NGB date is not the same as a date object. They are two different things. An NGB date stores dates in a different format than dates. That's what you first know. So if you get the appointment time, you cannot just work with it. You need to first convert it to an NGB date, to a date object using a date function. So basically, when we want to uh, let's say uh, create a new uh, list we want to create a new a new object we first have dates and then we have new ngb dates okay sorry this we are talking about assigning a date to the ngb uh, to the date picker so i think it's better i just explain it from my website because it's clearer you may want to set the date maybe you want to set it to today's date or to or something and also you want to retrieve the date from from that from the ngb date picker you need to do two things in reverse remember the selected dates is available in the appointment time variable so if you check the appointment time you have ngb date object this is not the same as date i repeated it before now to convert the ngb date to date you need to use a date function and extract the year month and day from the ngb date and create a date object that you can work with okay then once it comes to setting the the value or the content of the ngb date picker on the control you need to convert the date to ngb date also in this case you use ngb date function so it's very easy you have the date function you have ngb date function the mistake that some make is to use dot year dot month and dot day that is how to create a date from ngb date but how to create a an ngb date from a date is new ngb date today dot get full year get full month and get date not get day and all of them are functions unlike the new date function okay hope this is clear now when you have converted to dates and you want to sign to an api let's say i'm submitting at this point and i'm submitting a date okay i've converted to a date you need to submit a date and that date is submitted now when a date is submitted and the api gets this date object submitted the api might not be able to handle it if you did not do a format conversion so let's go back to spring boot and let's see how uh, the date is received by the api now i'm going to my controller and here is my controller file. My controller file, rece file receives a date as the path variable. When it receives this data as a path variable, it's a date object from Angular. Okay, this date object from Angular is not a local date time, it's a date. Now, for you to convert it to a local date time, you'll need to use a date time format converter. And so I'm going to make a space at this point. So this is the date we are retrieving. It's coming as a string. And because it's coming as a URL, as part of the URL parameter. And then you are going to use date time formatter, the pattern. There is a pattern you are going to use. And then you are going to say local date time dot parse, specify the date and the formatter. You can also convert or change to any format you want, depending on your application needs. So, uh, as I mentioned before, this is going to be a brief tutorial. I've talked about dates, 
how to select it from the date picker, how to get it on the back end, convert to NGB date, convert back to date. The next thing I would like to talk about in a different video will be time. Because sometimes in case of appointment, appointment is based on a time frame. So you have an appointment on by today, it's not the whole day, it may be 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. So you have to select the time, possibly select the time span or the duration of this appointment, right? So that's a bit more dicey, it's a bit more um, uh, hectic, a bit, a bit more challenging but not too difficult. We are going to do it in a different part. So try to play around with this application, try to see the step-by-step -step in my website and also feel free to leave me a comment or to leave me uh, to tell me if you have any challenges following this, uh, is this explanation so far and I'm going to be making more lessons after now. I'd like to thank you for viewing, I'd like to thank you for being there and I remain kind to the tech pro. I'm also reminding you to subscribe to my, to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos and let me know uh, how you feel. So we see in the nice part.